members of St. Louis City Police who want control of the department to stay here locally took their case to Jeff City today. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins looks at the rally against a state takeover. Well, dozens gathered here at the Missouri State Capitol today to speak out about uh, the takeover of the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. They say the measure is not a good move for residents in St. Louis. With signs in their hands and chants of hands off, dozens of grassroots organizations gathered on the front steps of the state capitol. The Missouri State House and Senate are again considering removing local control of the St. Louis Police Department. Senator Carla May represents St. Louis City voters. By once again seizing control of St. Louis's democratically elected legal institutions, the Missouri government is reviving the legacy of historic discrimination against people of color. Earlier this month, lawmakers in the Missouri House voting overwhelmingly that the state should seize control is now up to senators. State Things Representative like Justin Sparks is from Wildwood in St. Louis County. And that lack of confidence and that demonization of an entire institution is why part of the reason that the officers believe that no one has their back and they're fleeing the city and we can't have that. St. Louis police have been under local control since 2012. State control means decisions are made by a five member board appointed by both the governor and the mayor. The people have voted to place um, control over St. Louis's police department with the people, with the community. And we don't feel that um, our elected officials are listening. How many times will St. Louis be forced to recover from the ramifications of an encroaching, overreaching state? Reporting in Jefferson City, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.